it, 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 I'm going to take I am so sick of my hair. I'm going to cut it all off. I'm going to cut it all off. Got to drink my water, guys. Zephyr Hills is the best water. Purified water is too chalky to me. I have to get spring water. And this is the best. So Now I'm just going to comb my hair, basically. I don't know what I want to do to my hair. I kind of wanted some braids, but I don't know. I'm just going to put it in a point until I'm going to slap my wig on. I got this wig from Holly's. I think I threw the package away, unfortunately. But this wig um, is just a wig and it has like a braid on the side. If I find the pack, I'll insert it below. So first thing first, I'm going to use the Softy Styling Gel. This is the Argan Oil one. I've been using this for a long time and I really like this product because it doesn't leave my hair flaky or dry. It doesn't have to be fancy. I'm just taking this sleek brush. It's a hard brush. Look how pretty it made my edges. Yes, come through, come through. <laughs> and I'm just going to pretty much put my hair in a low, low bun. That way my hair is not sticking out in the wig. And sometimes just to secure it, I use bobby pins to make sure it's very flat on my head. And this is just a wig cap. I actually got this from the Dollar General. They came um, two in a pack. So this is just one that was left over. And I'm going to plop that on my head, securing all my edges in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on. But before I do so, I'm going to have to take it out of the ponytail that I had it in the day before. And that was a struggle. <laughs> so I'm going to use a Britney um, brush. This is just a regular brush from Dollar General. And I'm just going to comb it out because this wig is a synthetic wig. It's not human hair. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, plop it on my head. Get it all sorted out. And start putting the clips in there. So there's one on the left. There's one on the top. No, excuse me. There's one on the right. So it's left and right. Then I'm going to go back in with that brush, comb it out. And to secure the front, I'm actually going to use this Salon Hair Bond Glue. It's from Salon Pro 30. It's just a regular hair glue. I believe I got this from the Dollar General as well. Matter of fact, I did. And look how funny um, the glue came out. I haven't used it in a while, so it was like stuck in there. But I'm just going to use a Q-tip so I won't get it on my fingers. And I'm going to place it on the front of the wig cap. This is just going to secure the front. That way, the part where the braids are will not move. And I'm going to place it on there. And I'm going to use my hands to pretty much press it into my scalp. Then I'm going to go in with this toothbrush brush <laughs> it's an edge brush i got it from holly's the beauty supply store but i used to use a toothbrush and now i use this and i really like this product because it has the combs on the sides so i'm gonna try to attempt and make some baby hairs i'm just gonna start pulling them i don't know how to tweeze yet but i'm definitely gonna try to learn that's definitely a new year's resolution to learn how to do hair or do my own hair i should say because i don't really want to do anybody else's hair but I'm just going to use this olive oil edge control. This is in the sweet almond scent. I love this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm just going to dip the brush side into the edge control, as you can see. And I'm going to try to swoop these little baby hairs that I kind of plucked out. And we're going to go fast motion. <laughs> This is the moment that I realized, okay, I did a good job. And then it didn't really last forever because, <laughs> as you can see, I almost hit myself in the face. But I'm going to go back in with that sleek brush and brush that out. Then I'm going to put this bandana on just to lay the edges in place while I do my makeup. I'm then going to go ahead and wash my hands before I do anything to my face. But, of course, I had to get something to eat first. <laughs> I went ahead and used this brow pencil from Wet n Wild. It's just like the regular brow pencil. It's in the brown color. And I'm just going to fill in my brows ever so lightly. 
Then I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Beautiful Bronze. This has just been my favorite concealer of all times. And I'm going to use a flat top brush. It's the main brush that I use for my brows. And I'm going to go ahead and put some on there and really make my eyebrows sharp. I want them to be crispy. Yes, the new year come through. <laughs> And when I do the next brow, I try to do it slow. That way you guys can get an idea of how I do it. You just want to make sure you're taking your time. No rush because brows do take a while. They really do. And you can't be rushing on this. You must take your time. That way they're even and they don't look all lopsided and crooked, you know. So it just takes a little bit. And I try to apply a little bit of concealer at the front of my eyebrow. That way it can kind of fade. And of course, I bring the concealer down to my eyelid. Now I'm going to go on with my all-time favorite beauty blender. You guys know I love this beauty blender. It's the Precision Beauty Blender. I have yet to find another one, but I am still looking for it. So please comment down below if you know anybody else who's selling these. I'm going to go on with this brow brush to just brush them out. And now I'm going to take off this bandana and look how the edges came out. I wasn't too, too happy with them. I had to go back in multiple times to fix it up. But it is what it is. Now I'm going to use this clip and I'm going to put all my hair to the back so I can go in with my all-time favorite foundation right now, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. I believe this is in the color Mocha, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'll try to leave it down in the description bar box. And I don't know why I apply the foundation that way because it actually has a pump on it. But I like to scoop it out. And I'm going to keep blending and blending. Oh, by the way, I applied the NYX Matte Finish Primer to my face. But I also moisturized my face before I did this. I used the Dual Action Moisturizer from Clean and Clear. I don't know where the footage went for that. I guess I misplaced it. But anyways. Now I'm going to use the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I'm actually going to apply it to my blender, my beauty blender, because it became tacky after a while, I believe, because all of my products were very matte. So I like to do this, and it helps my foundation blend out more evenly. I'm going to use this new CoverGirl Concealer. This is the True Blend. It's lit concealer this is in the color medium this was awesome i really liked it i really really like this product it's like a little pen and i had a hard time using it at first or you know trying to figure out how to use it but it came out very good so right here it, you'll see me rolling it up wow this is cool you keep winding it up oh wow because it's like coming up from the bottom see there it goes that's funny i got this actually on a really good sale at walgreens i'm always there but i got it for about two dollars i believe okay let's see i'm going back in with the setting spray as you can see and i applied this concealer under my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my chin and on my forehead to highlight my face of course now i'm using the laura mercier setting powder this is in the color translucent and i'm gonna apply that just where i put the concealer at under my eyes as you've seen on the bridge of my nose on my chin area all of that y'all i love baking so much man just makes my face so matte and pretty I'm actually going to put it right under my jawline. I don't know how to describe that area, but it makes my contour very sharp. I'm going to use the contour brush from Bamboo Naturals, and I'm going to use my all-time favorite contour. This is the Contour Duo from Nick Cack. It's from the Holly's Beauty Supply Store. And I like to squeeze the contour brush so that way it gives it a fine, sharp line. I just love contouring. It sculpts out my face and just makes me look thinner. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, I'm squeezing it, as you can see. I apply it under my jaw. And of course, I apply it on the temples of my head. Like, duh. <laughs> That's the main place you want it at. 
duck lips. <laughs> See how I gave it a nice sharp contour? <laughs> I started feeling myself. Now I'm going to go ahead with this powder brush and I'm going to use a Fit Me uh, Maybelline powder in the color 360 Mocha. And I like to squeeze my brush too when I'm dusting off that powder right underneath um, where the contour was. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. It's so funny how the Milani and the NYX is similar in packaging. But I like to apply this setting spray. That way it just won't be too, too matte. I don't know how to explain it. Oop, gotta cover up the goodies. The girls gotta be covered up. <laughs> I went back and washed my hands once again. I wash my hands a lot. But I'm going to use the Urban Decay Provision Mascara. And I'm going to do this in speed motion again. And I'm going to take this Boo Mox. Uh, I can't really pronounce the name. I don't know. But I'm going to leave it down in the description box below. But this is in the color Filthy Rich. And it's such a pretty raspberry brown color. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I'm going to use these lashes. I have no idea which lashes these are, but if I figure them out, I'm definitely going to leave it in the description box below. I'm going to take my all-time favorite lash adhesive. This is from Kiss, and it has aloe in it. Whoa. Oh, that came out. Actually, I actually had to cut the bottle because the glue was not coming out from the top. So that's why so much came out when I squeezed it on the side. A lot of people ask me why I don't use tweezers when I do my lashes. I don't know. I just feel like I have a better grip when I use my hands. I usually start by placing it in the middle of my eye. And then I go to the outer corner and then the inner corner and teeter tot back and forth just to make sure that it's shaped good. And of course, I get glue all on my hands, but it's worth it. Now I'm going to use this Maybelline Lasting Dramatic Eyeliner. And this stuff is surprisingly really long, which makes me super happy because you can't say that a lot about eyeliners. Most companies are really cheap and only give you like a centimeter worth of eyeliner. But I'm going to use this penciled shape blending brush and I'm going to blend that eyeliner out on both my lash lines. Then I'm going to go in with this tapered blending brush and I'm going to use that same color I used on my eyelid on my lower lash. Thumbs up this video if you're like me and you cannot not apply mascara without keeping your mouth open. <laughs> it's just, I can't help it. It's a habit. But I'm going to go on with this blush brush and this dollar blush. Ugh, tongue twister. And I just love this blush. This is just such a pretty brown. I just really like this. Gives me life. I'm going to use my all-time favorite Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray. Y'all already know the drill. As you can see, I used two. And I just like that because it leaves my face matte. And earlier, my face was dewy from the setting spray. I'm going to use this RK Brow Mascara. This is from Holly's Beauty Supply Store as well. And this is just going to set my brows in place. Also, I wiped off my lips from the excess powder. And I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer as my highlight, like always. Yes. Yes. I just love looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> now I'm going to go on with this pointed regular eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to use that same highlight. Like I said, it's actually a baked bronzer, but I use it as my highlight. And I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. My mom always thinks that this looks like eye boogers. But I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the color Ginger Snap. And I get so geeked every time I use this. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. I literally have like five bottles of it. Since I'm extra, I'm going to go back in with the Coconut Oil Lip Gloss. And I'm going to apply that on top. Although this is already a gloss. I just like extra gloss. And I do it like that so that way it won't get the lip gloss on there. Okay, y'all ready for this sleigh? I did not come to play. Okay, guys. This is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video.
please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up <coughs> I'm sorry my voice what is going on I don't know comment down below what you guys would like to see next and subscribe subscribe to my channel where I post every single Monday and Friday for you guys remember if you keep God first all your plans will succeed love you guys bye Happy New Year and God bless. Ooh, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Wig flip. I need to get my mustache waxed off again. <laughs>